Coming up in today's video, Patrick Starr comes after BeautyCon yet again. Stay tuned for the latest tea. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a fantastic day today. If you enjoy these types of videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up. Also be sure to hit the notification bell and select it to all, that way you'll be notified the moment I upload my next video. Now let's get started. Yesterday, Patrick Starr went on Instagram Live where he addressed his thoughts and concerns regarding the recent mistreatment of influencers Sierra Schultz and Skylar Pollitt. I'll be showing you the majority of Patrick's Instagram Live shortly, but first, a little backstory for those that aren't in the know. Earlier this month, Sierra and Skylar attended the BeautyCon convention in LA, and they were treated horribly. Now, allegedly, Sierra went last year as well, and she also had a horrible experience, which is very disheartening. After they returned from the BeautyCon convention, Sierra posted her experience on social media. This is what she said on Twitter. Today it was made clear that people like me are not welcome at BeautyCon. The cherry on top of the shit Sunday that was BeautyCon 2019 was having influencers and an employee laugh at us as they took our seats on the shuttle while my pregnant BFF sat down to wait. All day I was told I wasn't the right type of talent, turned away from press and photo opportunities, and had my confidence crushed by being constantly looked up and down and judged for not looking like an influencer. Vlog coming tomorrow with footage of everything. Hashtag boycott BeautyCon. BeautyCon responded to Sierra by going on Instagram Live. They issued her a bogus apology, questioned her motives, and accused her of spreading fake news. Shortly after all this went down, Patrick Starr stepped in to defend the influencers. He accused BeautyCon of being an unorganized mess. He urged people to spend their money at DragCon rather than BeautyCon. And then went on to Instagram Live and issued this statement. But today, I wanted to get something off my chest. Recently, I did a video on, um, not a video. I posted a video on my story about uh, BeautyCon and how much of an organized mess it was. And um, I'm, gonna, I'm, tr I'm gonna try not to look at the screen because I don't wanna get distracted and I just wanna say this once and not get involved. I'll probably answer questions later if I'm feeling it, but I just have so much to say. Um, I did this video of me posing in the BeautyCon booth and it was such, and I captioned it, it was an organized mess and spend your money elsewhere like DragCon and Sephora, which is coming up next month. I have been to BeautyCon since 2014 and my first, um, that was my first convention and I had a meet up with Manny in 2014, my very, very first meet and greet ever, and it was in Dallas, Texas. And I just remembered how crazy it was, and uh, Tart was there, Graveyard Girl was there, and it was such a magical experience as a creator. Um, and I was a very much, a much smaller creator at the time, that it was just, we were so enamored by, um, meeting our viewers and for those of you guys that are creators and, and or remembering your first time that's something that's so special because as creators we connect uh through a camera through a phone online and that's such a magical thing and it is now 2019 and it's still a mess <laughs> It's still a mess. It's unorganized. And as I posted that story yesterday, there was um, a bunch of fellow influencers that um, had agreed with me, had expressed the same sentiment. And that is something that I felt bad for. So I thought it was just me. And I will tell you, I was there with the brand and I had an amazing experience. I had an amazing experience with the brand. You know, I was escorted. I had security. I had all my friends, my whole team with me. And it was just uh, an amazing experience. But when I look at BeautyCon and all the other influencers that have spent money to fly across the country from different states and really spend their hard-earned money on this to be treated with disrespect, to be to be feeling less than, I, I did watch the video, um, Sierra's video with her uh, friend Skylar, and I felt really, really bad 
that they were mistreated like that. There are so many other things that BeautyCon could do um, to improve their convention. But the thing is, I, I will be transparent with you guys that I was reached out by the founder and the CEO, uh, I don't know if she's CEO, um, of BeautyCon to have a conversation. And I feel like as an influencer, a larger influencer in this space that I have much more impact on here. And what disgusted me or disappointed me was the apology that was issued via live, which wasn't an apology. And then when there was an apology, it was via Twitter, via a notepad. So the thing for me is that if the founder and their partners, and this is all about a company, this is nothing personal. When it's, when it's about a business and this founder and their connections are calling on celebs like Kim Kardashian, Cardi B, Meg Thee Stallion, Priyanka Chopra, Tina Knowles, Kelly Rowland. It's like, wow, this, these, this company and these types of people are garnering these relationships via voice and engaging. And when they're not willing to engage via their voice in an apology, it's kind of backwards. And what really makes me upset is that they're not taking consideration that there are consumers that are paying to attend this event. And that's what really, really makes it utmost disrespectful and upset is because I've been to this convention since 2014. And we all know that there's no secret that there are videos, there are comments, there are millions of views, thousands of comments, everything, um, celebrities bringing light to this and how big of a mess or how this was this. And, and after all these years, I would say they probably have over, over 10 conventions internationally too, that they're yet to take note on how to improve the convention for the consumer, improve the convention for the influencer, improve the convention for possibly the brands as well. It's such a hodgepodge mess. But they rather spend money in paying these celebrities to come to this event like Kim Kardashian or pay for Cardi B to come or Priyanka Chopra or I don't even know what their deals look like, but it just upsets me that they rather focus their time and their efforts on conversating who's going to be our next celebrity, who are we going to have on the stage, how can we create a bigger crowd, how can we do this, how can we, we, we bring more brands, and it's just like, really, you, you guys are focusing on who the big celebrity is to bring to that weekend, rather than focus on how can you create beautiful experiences and consumer experiences for the consumer, the influencer, and everything. And I just feel, I feel bad. And this is more of a business thing. And I declined this conversation with the founder and I declined, you know, even speaking to them because I feel like I wouldn't be heard. And in watching Sierra and Skylar, I do want to apologize for you. And I would love to meet you guys. If you guys are ever watching or if anybody knows them, I do follow both of them and I feel so, so bad. I really sympathize for them. But it was just so disrespectful what they went through. And what makes me even worse about the situation and what makes me even more upset is that I had security, I had an escort, I had a runner, I had a publicist, I had my manager in attendance, I had my wristbands ready to slip on my wrist, I had my assistant, I had my producer, I had my uh, videographer with me, and that's like the whole 10, but you know, I, I feel bad supporting this type of convention and this business and this company when others aren't treated as well or overlooked and as a content creator I know what that's like oh my gosh she's actually in here hello um I actually feel bad um for other content creators because back then you know when I was much smaller I had a much 
a much um, micro, more micro experience in that. And I do feel bad for Sierra and Skylar. And I love you guys. And I hope to meet you guys. And I hope you guys have a much more positive experience. I do feel bad for BeautyCon having issued that apology. I wish you had gotten a call, um, a grant, I don't know, an incentive, but it was just, yeah, 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 here's our apology. Let's focus on our next convention. And the, the apology could, it wasn't an apology, the, the live, you know, that's what made me more upset too. Um, just know that this is about BeautyCon and this is about a company. This is not to personally attack the founder, attack any of the employees, but I feel like my voice here on my freaking phone would resonate much louder than sitting face to face with them. This is about a business and this is about a company. And when you are taking people's money and utilizing it to pay big talent, big celebrities to swoon your marketing and have micro influencers post for free when this is their livelihood, that's not what it's about, you know? And when you're gonna issue an apology, issue it in person, issue it verbally and say it like you mean it. And don't even bother saying it if you don't mean it. And I, I, I just feel bad because I was literally whisked like a princess from my bus all the way to my meet and greet, to the photo booth, to the red carpet. It was a very smooth process. And then I see other people and also my peers and some of my clients, you know, I am a manager and I do represent some influencers have a less than experience, a less than magical experience when I know they're spending for their outfit, their transportation, their hotel. It's like, man, I just feel bad because when you know, when you wanna invest in your business, you wanna spend your money and put it back into your business, whether it's a camera, a light, an experience to network. And when it's a less than positive experience, I feel really, really bad. But that is it um, off the top of my chest. I will be leaving this live up. Um, let me know what you guys think. Feel free to send me a DM. Um, and I hope, my end goal is that I hope this, I hope that this message reaches greater than just the BeautyCon team, but also other conventions to pay attention to the customer. And anyone that is that wants to have their own brand, listen to the people. They are the ones gonna be paying for your business. And when you miss when you mistreat people that are paying for your business, paying your for your your lifestyle, paying for your convention, listen, 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 and pay attention. Um, that's it. I feel much better getting this off my chest. Um, thank you guys for listening and watching. Um, and I hope to see you all next time. I love you so much. Bye. Man, I gotta say, Patrick Starr, he is good people. He is not afraid to stand up to the smaller influencers that are being bullied, and I so appreciate that. After Patrick's live stream, he tweeted, You definitely deserve to be treated better. I hope my Instagram live is loud and clear for BeautyCon to hear. I hope to meet you both soon. He then went on to say, Follow these two queens. They brought the right PR to BeautyCon. We can only hope that more influencers are like Patrick and decide to start sticking up for the smaller influencers who are getting bullied. As for BeautyCon, I think that they need to come out and issue a real apology to both Sierra and Skylar, and also to those who have ever been mistreated at one of their conventions. If they don't, this is going to follow them forever. Their attendance is going to go down for years to come. No one should ever be bullied or looked down upon for the way that they look. Period. Well guys, that's it for this video, and now it's time for my little segment, Furtastic Fur Baby of the Day, where I feature one of your wonderful pets at the end of my video. If you'd like to have your pet featured, go ahead and send me a message on either Twitter or Instagram with a photo of your pet and your pet's name. Our two fur babies of the day are our guinea pigs, Remy and Linguini. Clearly they were named after the Disney movie Ratatouille. Their favorite treats are lettuce and watermelon, and when they're not eating, they like to run around, chase each other, squeak, and occasionally jump out of their pen. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Do remember to like this video, subscribe, and then share it with all your friends. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Bye! Thank you.